looking at CGDV, the American Funds from Capital Group, Capital Group Dividend Value ETF. Today is March 16th, 2024. Let's begin. A high level overview of this fund investment objectives are to produce income exceeding the average yield on US stocks generally, and to provide an opportunity for growth of principle consistent with sound common stock investing. Its distinguishing characteristics, it invests primarily in dividend paying stocks of larger established US companies. It is composed of common stocks and cash and cash equivalents. Up to 10% of the assets may be invested in stocks of larger companies outside of the United States. Key facts. This fund has been around since February 22nd of 2022. It currently has 6.7 billion assets under management. The Morningstar category for the CTF is large value. It currently has 54 holdings in its portfolio. Its major asset allocation is 96.82% equities. It does not derive income from derivatives. It is actively managed. It is not a leveraged ETF and it is not an inverse ETF. Some key statistics. It has a expense ratio of 0.33%, a P to E price to earnings ratio of 17.30. It, it distributes its dividends quarterly. Its last dividend distribution was 16 uh, cents per share. It has a current share price of 31.67 per share. It has a 30% portfolio turnover rate. The trailing 12 month distribution yield sits at 1.58% with a 1.81 30 day distribution yield. It has a total return year to date of 5.76% today in 2024 with a one year total return of 30.05% and a since inception lifetime total return of 13.95%. In total, this fund is again, actively managed. It has five total managers with a combined experience of 164 years. Its top 10 holdings are Broadcom at 7.2%, General Electric at 5.7%, Microsoft at 5.28%, RTX Corp at 5.05%, American International Group, AIG at 3.67%, Meta Platforms Inc. Class A, 3.66%, Carrier Global Corp, 3.63%, Philip Morris International, 3.36%, British American Tobacco at 2.71%, and Abbott Labs at 2.70%. The equity breakdown uh, exposure into uh, each region would be industrials. It is exposed about 22.9% there. Information technology exposure of about 19.3%. Healthcare exposure, 14.3%. Financials, 8.8%. Consumer discretionary, 7.2%. Consumer staples, 6.8%. Materials, 5.7%. Communication services at 4.8% and energy at 3.7%, followed by utilities at 2.8%. Its equity geographic footprint or exposure is roughly 93.3% exposed to the United States, 3.4% Canada, and 3.4% Europe. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do not take any of this information as financial advice. This information is purely for entertainment and educational value only. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next dividend review video.